My boss just asked for my original resume after I've been employed there for 10 years. Just say you don't have it. It wouldn't be unreasonable to think that the document was lost sometime during the last 10 years. They are looking for a lie on the document to fire you. That resume was two laptops ago and I don't have it any longer. They should have it on file and if they don't it's not really your problem. Sounds like they want to see can they check your eligibility for the job. If you lied on your resume they might be able to fire you for it and stop paying compensation. You don't have to tell them you figure that's why they want it. Just nicely tell them that you don't have a copy of your old resume. And that you expect they should have that on file themselves. They may have a legal requirement to have kept that paperwork. Depends on the jurisdiction. Of course. And just leave it at that. If they ask you to recreate it. Refuse to. Say you can't accurately or reliably produce the exact same document and that you are not able to. Complete that sort of administration especially work while you are still dealing with the workplace. Injury. It's their responsibility to keep their documentation. If they don't have it, you do not have to supply it to them. Edit. Thank you, kind humans, for the awards and all the updates. Looking to find an area where you lied about your qualifications in order to get out of paying you. Former HR director here. They are definitely looking to find a reason to terminate employment. Lying on a resume is easy grounds for dismissal. However, it's their responsibility to maintain employee files and that it includes pre-employment documents. Such as a resume. I would tell them you do not have it anymore and remind them you provided a copy during the interview, hiring process. Also moving forward keep detailed records of all communications including this one. Meaning time and date and who from the company is communicating requests of you. These records will be of tremendous use if this ends up in court. Not sure if you're in a right-to-work state, but even if you are, you always reserve the right to sue for wrongful termination. They are looking for a way to terminate and it won't stop with just this attempt. Be sure to follow all the policies outlined in your employee handbook. Keep HR updated as required and outlined according to the expectation of company policy. Now with all that said, you need to contact an attorney ASAP and have a consultation. Research the attorneys thoroughly and choose one that specializes in employment law. I'm guessing their insurance company requested it. They'll be exploring all options to protect themselves at your expense. They're looking to get rid of you, not compensate you, and even draw back what they've already paid possibly through of some vague fraudulent employment. Type charges their lawyers can glean from your initial hire. Get a lawyer. Any serious US workers comp claimant needs to have their own legal representation and you're a serious claimant who suffered a serious accident. Don't doubt and don't delay. This incident has. Can and will have some serious financial and physical ramifications for you and you need to both. Protect yourself and acquire proper compensation. This is what the lawyer will do for you. As far as legal costs, compensation. Any competent workers comp lawyer costs you basically nothing. They work on contingency fees. If you get nothing so do they. So they're going to get you, them something. Turn this all over to a lawyer ASAP. Source. Been down this road, lawyer up. Probably what the others are commenting. Might be good for you to get some legal advice? Do you have a union? Why don't they have it on file? Just say you don't have it anymore. From experience dealing with workers comp. Get representation now and have all communication through them. Not only is there no good reason for wanting a 10-year-old resume, there's no reason they should need your current resume. 
Whatever you do not give out your resume even if you do find it. The reason why is because if they find a flaw in your resume they will use it against you so that they don't have to pay for medical insurance for you anymore. Even if you're better now you're consider a liability. I would simply tell them that you no longer have access to the device that has my original resumes or resumes that old on it. Sorry. Do not say anything else or play any other card yet. Don't even offer an up-to-date resume. Offer nothing beyond, I don't have it. Simply say that and then wait for them to reply before you make your next move. In your situation you should also have legal consult. Likely their insurance company is looking for any loophole they can to stop compensating you. If you don't have a lawyer here you risk saying something that's going to give them the excuse they need to either fire you or withhold compensation. And a lawyer can also advise you on exactly how you should reply to them and with what kind of verbiage. Also can you please keep us updated? Remind me. 6 weeks. They are looking for a lie on your resume so they can fire you. Safety manager here. Are you back to work in your pre-injury position and working at full capacity? If you are working a light duty or reduced capacity role, they may be looking to place you in some other role until you regain your pre-injury abilities. My gut feeling, however, is that this is nefarious in nature. If I were to place someone in a reduced or light duty role, I would as for a doctor's note which details the injured's abilities. Then I would speak to their manager or HR and find a duty where you can be productive without negatively impacting their recovery. I could see the value in reviewing a current resume for potential roles until the doctor releases the injured employee. But I don't see how providing an original copy would be used in any positive manner. I would contact a disability lawyer or workplace lawyer. Now. Kiss. Keep it simple stupid. Simply state that you don't have the document anymore. Do not state that they should have it. Do not say that you're not able to recreate it. Do not give an explanation why you don't have it anymore. Just say, I don't have it anymore. And leave it at that. In legal disputes, you say as little as possible until you're 100% sure that what you want to say won't hurt your are you in the US? So you're on workers comp? I see you're not in the US. I'm leaving this up for all the Americans in the thread. The US system is messed up. And people aren't educated about it at all. You need to educate yourself ASAP on what that program is like and what is required from you. In the US they are required to pay you 66% of your salary until you are able to return to work. If you're never able to return to work, you should get a payout to compensate you for bodily loss. Brain injuries are difficult, because there is a sheet to give specific value for a finger, or 50% loss of arm use, 30% of back use, etc. But it's hard to qualify how much brain function loss you have, and hard to prove degree of injury unless you had a brain bleed as well. If you have any questions you should contact a workers' compensation lawyer specifically. Laws vary greatly state by state. But employers and workers' comp agencies know that most workers are ignorant of law and will try to deny your injury, downplay it, get you to come back to work before you're healed, give you less than you're owed. Do not give them your original resume. It doesn't matter why. Tell them you keep your resume updated and you don't have it. But they should check their records. Be careful about what you say. Put in writing. And even put on social media. It's common practice to hire a private investigator to follow someone on an expensive workers comp case to see if there is some way they can cancel the case. Things playing sports or lifting a lot of weight if they had a back injury. Working any other kind of work. Any way to show you've lied about anything. Literally anything. In my state the workers' comp agency is even allowed to call your doctors and ask them to give them 
a specific result. The doctor isn't allowed to discuss you as their patient, of course, but they can and do receive kickbacks for giving patients clear bills of health who are not better. Lastly, workers' comp lawyers are totally separate from other kinds of law. You don't want a disability lawyer, or an employment lawyer, or a personal injury lawyer. You want a lawyer who only does workers' comp. They are legally allowed to only take 20% of your final payment in the case. And if you lose the case they take nothing. I learned a lot of this from this blog. HTTPS www.illinoisworkerscomplaw.com slash category slash articles dash two slash Again, warning that things vary greatly from state to state. I smell a rat. Sounds like your employer is trying to find something in your past so he can end your health. Payments. To be safe contact a lawyer to see what you should legally do. Your employer's request is highly unusual. There's only one reason dear. To try and deny you were ever qualified to be in that position and deny medical care. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.